this short film is the preparation of my Brumby from the Tanami Desert, Harry, to be ridden. Harry has been ridden once before, four and a half years ago on the 31st of December 2004, he was ridden for 10 minutes. And since that day, Harry has not been ridden or been driven. So I am now driving Harry, and this is the way I drive most of my horses. I introduce them to things that they'll see in their riding career. And if they were going to be a harness horse, they would see this in their harness driving career. Here I am driving Harry up a small hill, stopping him and backing him down the hill. Now I'm driving him down the hill and stopping him at the bottom and backing him up. I also teach them to approach and go over obstacles and this blue tarpaulin is an obstacle and um, I will drive Harry across the obstacle He's not particularly worried about it because he saw it four and a half years ago. I stop him at the end of the obstacle and back him backwards across it. You'll notice that I'm not putting a great amount of pressure on Harry's mouth because it's very important that the horse's mouth be nice, soft and gentle. Now I'm doing a small serpentine with Harry. Very little pressure on the reins. And all of my horses can be ridden and backed on their first ride. I'm bringing Harry up the yard. Harry knows one trick and that is to mount a pedestal. So I'm going to drive Harry up here and uh, demonstrate one of his tricks for you. So as you can see there's not a real problem if a horse is trained properly in teaching it to do things like this. Now I'm going to ha have Harry mount this stump and that'll be enough driving for the day's mouth suitable for to be ridden. Oh wonderful! Wow, aren't you clever? What's safe? So here's my rider Rachel, who is going to mount the horse in a rather different fashion from the milk crate. Harry has never been ridden bareback and he's never been mounted bareback before. This would not be a very safe way of mounting a horse that you did not know, even though Harry has not been ridden, I've known him for nearly five years, and I know nearly all his moods. You'll notice that Harry's ears aren't laid back. He's quite happy with having a rider on his back. We just let him stand there. We don't want to put too much pressure on him. So Rachel dismounts from what is classed as the wrong side. And now she's going to mount from what is classed as the wrong side because all my horses are able to be mounted and dismounted from both sides, usually by the time of their first ride.
when Harry's happy with the weight on his back, I will lead him off for a couple of circuits. This method of teaching horses may seem strange, but it is, is a way of being, has been practiced for a long, long time. The mounting block was used extensively in England hundreds of years ago and nearly all hotels and inns had a mounting block in the yard so that riders could mount their horses, particularly if they were inebriated. And the riders in the Spanish riding school have their horses led for them and then they would do their work on the lunge line before the riders ride them with uh, and give their own signals but I don't have the facilities to use this sort of method so I have to teach my horse to work and be a rider to the right from his first ride. Harry is now being ridden bareback of his own accord. Right, keep him going. When when you stop him again, give him a little back up so he can show that he can back on his first ride ever. <laughs> yeah. That's a good boy that is. That's a good boy. Rachel is an excellent rider, has good hands and a good seat, so she's a good rider to ride a young horse for the first time. She's dismounted with the saddle. And you'll notice I picked up the milk crate and threw it out of the yard. Again, I'm giving the horse a little bit of uh, something out of his comfort zone by having something thrown and making a noise on the ground. As you can see, Harry never even worried about it because I make sure that my horses are trained this way right from the start. More laps of the track. Just to make sure he's alright, and then I'll let him go. And she'll be riding the bear back for the I ride him on the saddle for the first time in four and a half years. And there he goes out on his solo run. I've been working with horses for 50 years, and uh, in that time I've come the pond about three horses that are exceptional to all the other horses I've handled and Harry is one of them. And, uh, a lot of horsemen go through their life and never find an exceptional horse. I've been lucky enough to have worked with three of them. <laughs>